history of RIMPAC started back in 1971, and it was a way to bring nations together towards a common goal. And it has, over the years, become larger, and until now, in which we have 25 separate nations, the theme being capable, adaptive partners. RIMPAC has been badass. No joke, this is the most that I've seen, like stuff that I've wanted to see. As a VLS tech, most VLS techs don't ever get to shoot a missile in their entire career. I've been a GM for four years and I actually got to shoot a missile and see what it's like. So RIMPAC has pretty much been an example of everything we've been training for. So all the certifications, everything that we've been uh, training and qualifying in and uh, learning about, it's pretty much all gone, came down to here. We actually have people come in and approach us, other ships and other aircrafts approaching us who we don't know, so we have to sneak around them or engage them. Uh, we have to work with other ships by communicating with them, talking to them, getting to formations, getting lined up, especially when we did our photo exercise. Not to mention like stepping outside during the photo X when we had like 30 other ships around us. That was mind blowing. Yeah, it was it was wild actually seeing it executed, like all of these other ships, all these foreign navies and stuff coming around to like work together as a, a team. So RIMPAC experience has been what we've been working for, what the Navy is, what the Okane does.